Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. So today I'm going to discuss about the frequency distribution table. Hello, Gian, this, rec this uh, lesson is for you. So when we talk about a frequency distribution, uh, it presents the score values in the frequency of occurrence. When presented in a table, the score values are listed in the rank order with the lowest score value, usually at the bottom of the table. So uh, since our, your lesson is all about the group data, how are you going to construct the frequency distribution table? So first of all, you have to construct the uh, frequency distribution table so that you will be able to identify the 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 mean median and mode of the group data okay so uh, moving forward so when we talk about um the different the definition of this so ito yung definition of frequency distribution table and then how are you going to construct a frequency distribution of group scores so the steps for constructing a frequency distribution of group scores are as follows Number one, you need to find the range of the scores. Number two, okay, so when we talk about the range, it is the highest score minus the lowest score. Number step two, you need to determine the tentative number of classes. So when we talk about the tentative number of classes, we have to use the, the letter K for the, the tentative number of classes. And the formula there is equal to 1 plus 3.322 logarithm of n. So when you talk about n, and this is your, based from your uh, problem, ito po yung kabuuan. And in your calculator or in your cell phone calculator, there is a symbol LG or LOG. So just press it if you get. To, if you want to get the value of your logarithm, times 3.322, and whatever is the value, uh, you have to add it by 1. And then, number 3, or step 3, determine the width of each class interval. So once you have already your range and your K, then that's the right time that you, have, you will determine na for your interval, which is R divided by K. Now, a list the interval placing the interval containing the lowest score value at the bottom. Tally the raw scores into the appropriate class interval. Add the tallies for each class interval to obtain the interval frequency. So let us apply now our um, formula or our steps in our example. So here in our example, construct a frequency distribution of the scores of 40 students in their math prelim exam and the scores are as follows so as you can see here that the scores are arranged from lowest to highest the reason th why we need to arrange it because later on if we need to tally it it's very easy for you to tally okay so take note that when you are going to check it what is the lowest score the lowest score here is 25 and the highest score there is 58 so first step we have to get the value of your range range is equal to the highest score which is 58 minus 25 is equal to 33 so that is the value of your range number two determine the tentative number of uh, classes which is k so since our uh, example just now our n is equal to 40 so therefore one plus 3.322 logarithm of 40. So, by the way, everybody, can you get the value of logarithm of 40? So, just press in your calculator, log 40, and then the value is equal to 1.6021. So, uh, when we talk about um, logarithm, there is a characteristics in Mantisa there. The characteristics there is 1 and the 6021 is the mantisa. So you have to multiply it by 3.322. So the product is equal to 5.322 plus 1, 6.322. So we have to use the roundup. So when we are talking about the roundup, 
So, di po ba sa rounding off, it's uh, five and above, you have to add one to the whole number. But when we talk about the round up, magdadagdag lang tayo. Five and above man yan or uh, four and below, magdadagdag tayo ng one sa whole number. So, our uh, K is equal to seven. Now, next. Let us determine the width of each class interval. I is equal to 33, which is our range, divided by 7 is equal to 4.71, or that is equal to 5. So list the interval, placing the interval containing the lowest score value at the bottom. So I have here a number. Tally the raw scores into the appropriate class interval. So have you noticed that the lowest score there is 25. So in order that you are going to uh, get, since the, our class interval is 9, so you have to count uh, 25, 26, 27. Uh, no, the, the class interval is 5, I mean. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then we have to add 1 to 29, so it will become 30. You start again counting from 30, and then until 34, because that is 5, you have to add 1 again. So that will be equal to 35. Tapos, you have to count again from 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Plus 1 again. Then you are going to add uh, another 5. So 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So you stop from 44 kasi yun po yung 5. And so on until you will reach the highest score. Since the highest score here from our data is equal to 58, then we will stop here. So uh, let us check whether the number or the class width is uh, the number of classes, I mean. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The value of our classes is 7. So ito po yon, di ba? Okay, let us now go to the row the tally. So let us check. We start from the lowest to highest. So pag sinabi natin 25 to 29, 25 to 29, how many students? So if you are going to check in your data, 25 to 29, sa so pakibilang po, so there are 10. Okay? But for 30 and 34, that is 0. 35 to 39, so, you start from 35 and then 36. So, wala po tayong 39. Kaya 2 ang ating tally. 40 to 44. So, you start from 42. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, until uh, 8, 40 to 44 is 7 only. And then 45, 45 to 49, we have 3. Kasi tatlong 48. And then... 50 to 54, so we start from 51 going to 54, so there are 8. And for 55 to 59, we start from 55 to 58, then that this is the tally. So, my dear students, your tally is equal to your frequency. So next, it's uh, we have to draw or we have to create the third column here. And the third column is, ayan. So add the tallies for each interval. Ayan. So frequency, so tally is equal to the frequency. So see to it that the value of your N is equal to 40. Pag nagkamali yan, maybe uh, medyo nagkamali ang tally mo. So, whatever is your end, that will be your frequency. And then, for the fourth column, you have to get the relative frequency. And the relative frequency is equal to, the formula is equal to frequency divided by the end times 100. Okay, so, next. In order to get the 25%, your F is 10. 10 divided by 40 times 100 is equal to 25%. 8 divided by 40 times 100 is equal to 20%. 3 divided by 40 times 100% is equal to 7.5%. 4 
7 divided by 40 times 100 is equal to 17.5%. 2 divided by 40 times 100 is equal to 5%. So 0 here, you don't need to compute because that is 0 and that is equal to 0%. 10 divided by 40 times... Uh, 100%, that is equal to 25%. So you are going to add all of this, and then that will be your relative frequency. So see to it that the value of your relative frequency is equal to 100%. If it is 99.4, maybe you have double double check your computation. Baka nagkamali. So ito na po yung ating uh, frequency distribution table.